How you doing everyone? Good morning. It's an early one. Welcome to Behind the Door. I'm Kevin O'Donnell and today we are uh, going far beyond the door. So I know it's called Behind the Door but I thought I would take you on a road trip with me. We're headed to Milwaukee this morning actually to catch a ferry. So this this is the only part of the trip that has got a, an actual in a hard set time. I have to be at that ferry in Milwaukee, uh, which is about 120 miles from home, by five o'clock in the morning. We're taking a ferry across the lake to Muskegon, Michigan. And from there, I'm going to uh, be photographing some lighthouses in the area. And then tomorrow morning, we're heading to Huron, Ohio. And the reason we're heading to Huron, Ohio is I have a bespoke model of the Arthur M. Anderson ore boat that I had made. Uh, and the model maker happens to live in Huron. I didn't want him shipping it, you know, through the small parcel service. So I decided to make a road trip of it. And I'd like for you to come with me. I'm going to chronicle the, uh, the next few days and uh, see what we get. On the way back, I'm stopping in Chicago for a couple of reasons, actually. I'm hoping to visit with a very dear friend, uh, meet him for lunch. I haven't seen him well over a year and a half. Thank you, COVID. And um, I'm also stopping at the Irish American Heritage Center on the north side of the city, where I have been invited to uh, exhibit my photography. And so uh, I'll be having an exhibition there for an event called IBAM, Irish Arts, Book, and Music. And that's coming up the end of October. There'll be more on that uh, in future videos. In fact, I'll, I'll probably be making a video of that exhibition. So, And then I'm hoping to stop in and see my son who lives in Chicago and uh, have dinner with him and spend the night there. I haven't seen him in well over a year. Again, thank you, COVID. And yeah, and then head home on Saturday. So that's the plan. Uh, Glad you're along for the drive and whoa, I missed my turn <laughs> for the next few days. And uh, here's looking forward to a great adventure. Just me, good morning. Oh. Little Sable Lighthouse, light station, Silver Lake, Michigan. It's about about an hour north of where we got off the ferry. And uh, it's a beautiful lighthouse, but the only thing is, is lots of people. Well, let's get out and have a look around, shall we? So walking up these sand dunes, it's like flower. One step forward, 
two steps back to get through this great arbor here. And I'm stuck. There we go. So I'm looking for a composition here. Not finding much. I'm telling you, up and down these dunes is exhausting. <laughs> Here, we might have something. Yeah, I think this might work. So what I'm gonna be going for here is uh, the tower, of course, this tree off to the right, all weather-worn and windswept, and these beautiful uh, dune grasses. Start with a uh, 16 to 35 wide-angle lens. Just gonna barely get it all in here. So I got an error message saying that the contacts between the lens and the camera is faulty to clean the contacts. So there might have been a bit of sand that got in there. Sand is the worst thing in the world for camera gear. So these grasses are going to turn out all blurry because um, the wind is blowing so strong. But that actually might be a nice effect on a day like today. We'll see. It's nice now. I can recover a lot of those nice shadows. Beautiful. Shooting up at the lighthouse here. I'm trying to avoid the people on the beach and uh, at least get a little bit of water in there. I shoot at one one thousandth of a second to stop these uh, reeds from blowing in the wind here. We got a wa watermarks on the lens. Excuse me. Here we go. Yeah, it's better. Now we got a little bit of sunlight. That changes all my settings. Shooting at one one thousandth of a second, six point seven f-stop ISO one hundred. I have some uh, definition definitely in those clouds now. So, all right. Let's look for another composition, shall we? Okay, I have to be quick here because the rain's coming in. And uh, 
you see what I've done here is I'm shooting at one one thousandth of a second f2.8 ISO 100 so I'm going to take this shot as soon as I remove this cloth here because that rain is coming straight in off the lake right now but really nice drama in the skies Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Got a bit of a walk. The rain feels good, I'll tell you that. It's so stinking hot. Okay, let's go. The rain has arrived, but I'm walking back and I turn around and I see this, this, such a beautiful shot here. So uh, I'm going to shoot it at 1 750th of a second ISO, I'm going to bump it up to 200. Check my histogram here. All in the middle, a little over to the left, but it's dark. So what I'm going to do here now is just wipe the screen. And as soon as I pull it away, take the shot. It's already focused on the lighthouse. The rain's here, guys. Now we can go. I thought this was going to be a bust here today. And I hung around here just long enough, hour and a half or so, for the light to change considerably. Uh, in a matter of 10 minutes, from bright sunshine to this. Coming up in part two of our road trip beyond the door. Storm's coming in across the lake, and I actually want to be out here for this storm. We head to beautiful Grand Haven, Michigan. Crazy, I know. And encounter two of the fiercest thunderstorms I've ever had the pleasure to witness. And come away with some of the most dramatic images I have ever captured. Yeah, nice to meet you, Russ. Then it's on to Huron, Ohio, and a visit with master model maker Russ Mamere to collect my 1 16th scale model of the beautiful ore carrier, Arthur M. Anderson. Later that day, we go in search of the Lorraine Lighthouse. According to my GPS, <laughs> I'm out in the middle of Lake Erie here. And round out our tour with a stunning sunrise shoot of the oldest lighthouse on the Great Lakes, Marblehead. And there's so much more, you won't want to miss it. So thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you down the road.